afternoon, everybody. It's lovely to see you. I'm feeling a little bit sad today. Are you or are you quite happy? Mm -hmm. I'm quite happy. Everybody <laughs> looks quite happy. <laughs> <Feels> <laughs> happy. Yes. And can, can you see my little friend behind me? I don't have Alan this week. I've got <laughs> this man. I seem to have a different man every week. It's not like <laughs> they get a reputation here. But it's great. But I'm feeling a bit sad because I'm not going to see you all on Zoom every week for a few weeks since you're going to be on holiday. But there's always good things come out of sometimes of being sad. So are we ready to sing our song? And that will cheer me up. Oh yes. Oh, oh work. We are together, now we can begin The youngest and the oldest, the only child the twin Some who're feeling left out, and some who're feeling in Gathering in this place Welcome everybody, it's good to see you here Welcome everybody, it's good to see you It's good to see you gathering in this place. Here we are together, joining in this song. Even those who feel that their singing's not that strong. And as we sing, may every person know that they belong. Gathering in this place. It's good to see you here. Welcome, everybody. It's good to see you here. Welcome, everybody. It's good to see you here. Gathering in this place. Here we are together with our hopes and fears, bringing many feelings. Our laughter and our tears And now it's time for everyone To tell the world we're here Gathering in this place Welcome everybody It's good to see you here Welcome everybody It's good to see you here Welcome everybody It's good to see you It's good to see you gathering in this place. Wow, what great actions everybody had there. That was super. Hello, Primrose, and hello, Poppy. We've just seen you. Now, Elizabeth, okay. you're going to do a game with us, I think. Yes, yes, I'm going to do a game. So today we're talking about our different feelings. Sometimes we're sad, sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're upset. So I'm going to show you a face and you have to tell me how the person is feeling. So here's the very first one. What do you think about this one, Poppy? How do you think the person's feeling? Then Sad. 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 I, a bit I, sad. I love it's sad maybe because the football team didn't win or they maybe got a stomach pain or maybe they're not seeing their friends or something but that wee boy is quite sad isn't he now this one what do you think about this Theo oh it's a scary face it's a girl what do you think how do you think she's feeling 
Raging. Raging, very upset, very stressed, very unhappy. And this could be if things don't work out how they want it to, or they just feel really fed up. Uh, maybe they're making something and it doesn't work out like a cake or something. You get, oh, really cross. So that's that one, really cross. Now, what about this one, Harris? Mm. What do you think that one would be? Tired. Tired, that's right. Stressed out, tired, maybe didn't sleep well, maybe working too hard and, and needing time off. That's somebody that's really tired. What about this one? Now, do you know what that one is? That looks like Freya at the moment. What do you think? Freya mm. or? Happy. Happy, well done, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. And this wee girl's happy because it's going to be a school holiday soon and she may be going away on holiday or maybe uh, having friends round. And today's story is all about David. He's feeling sad at losing his friends. So you hear all about the story. But um, yeah, that's all the different faces. We can maybe talk about those later. Right, um, I think Douglas is going to do a wee story with us now. Good to see everybody, hello. Yes. And many happy returns, Helen, you're hiding. Happy birthday to you. We'll need to sing that, definitely. Thank you. Many happy <laughs> So tonight we are thinking about somebody who we've heard about for the past couple of weeks, a wee boy called David. David, he was chosen as king and he was the most unlikely person to be called to be king. Can you remember why that was? Why was he the most unlikely person to be called as king? Theo? And he was in the desert which I don't know why I'm saying that because it doesn't make a point, but yeah. Okay. He was. He was a shepherd boy, so he wasn't there at the time. He was picked to be the king, and he wasn't even there. And then after that, last week, we heard about putting our shoes in someone who's bigger, and he put his faith and trust into God, and David put himself in the front of all the battle lines, and then defeated the biggest giant the army had ever seen. So for someone like that, you might think he could have had all he ever wanted. You might think nothing could ever make him sad. I mean, he's going to be king and everyone loves him. But I know differently. He got sad. He got sad at things that we would get sad about too. He lost his best friend ever. And then he got sad at things that happened in the world all around him. And then he got sad with other people in his family. And he kind of got mad as well at different times. David did something really creative to get rid of his upset and to share it with other people. He wrote songs and he wrote poetry. He expressed his sadness using words. But do you know also what he did? He expressed this sadness and anger probably as well towards God because God promised that he would be there to listen. I'm sure you've felt sad sometimes. Can you wave if you've felt sad sometimes? Yeah. We can feel sad for different reasons and it's not when you're stick filling your face with cake, is it, Freya? It's, we can feel sad at different points. We can feel sad and we might not even know why we've got, why we're sad. And when we don't know, we can't then tell other people why we're sad either. I've got a wee video I'm wanting to show you just now. And this video talks about somebody who is sad and people can see she's sad, but she doesn't know why. And it maybe will help us to think what we can do whenever we are feeling sad. So let me just pop that video on just now and I will press play. Here. Lucy Pear has wonderful hair. It changes colour like no other. 
when the sun shines bright and things seem right, her hair is as yellow as that big bright light. When her little brother Brad makes her really, really mad, her hair goes as red as her redhead dad. One day, her friend got a brand new toy. Wow. Her hair went green with envy. No sign of joy. When Lucy's excited, full of happiness and glee, her hair goes bright purple for everyone to see. But one day she woke and the sun wasn't so bright. She didn't feel happy. She didn't feel right. Lucy didn't know where to look. And she didn't know what to do. Because that morning she woke and her hair was dark blue. She didn't know why she felt so sad, why her hair was so blue, why she didn't feel glad. She didn't want to leave home that day and she wished the blue feeling would just go away. Why is your hair blue? her mummy asked. But giving an answer seemed an impossible task. She didn't know why she felt so low, why her hair didn't have that bright golden glow. Up and dressed and off to school, her classmates thought her hair was cool. Her teacher said, it's not that bad, but she just couldn't say, it's because I'm sad. Her friends didn't get it. Why are you sad? You're always so happy. You're always so glad. I am always happy. This much was true, but she still couldn't say why her hair was so blue. At lunch, Lucy ate all she could consume, when a sight caught her eye from across the room. Her friend said, Lucy, look, someone like you. And she looked up to see more hair so blue. She could see he had a smile on his face, a smile so bright no sadness could erase. But why, asked Lucy, is your hair so blue? Do you feel the sadness that I feel too? The boy looked at Lucy with his bright green eyes and knew that his next words could not be lies. Don't worry, Lucy, if your hair goes blue. We all have days like this, mums and dads and teachers too. It's important to know. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be mad. And if you wake up one day and your hair is blue, Please don't worry, because that's okay too. We all have blue days, but it will disappear. And your beautiful hair will again reappear. Tomorrow you'll wake and the sun will shine bright. And today will fade like a dream in the night. That night at home with her mum and her dad, she told them she felt a little bit sad. But I'll be fine, she began to say, because it's okay sometimes to have a blue day. So the video here, Lucy was blue, Lucy felt sad, and it was clear to the people around her that she was feeling sad, but she didn't know why, and neither did Lucy. She didn't know the people around her, nobody knew, but she spoke to people, and people spoke to her, and it wasn't about ignoring her just because she was feeling sad. And you can do that too, you can talk to your daddy, you can talk to mummy, granny, granda, whoever any adult that you trust and they care about you and they want to help you understand that it's okay to be sad. And it's good to talk about these times. And that's exactly what David did. He didn't have someone to go and speak to right beside him. What David did 
was that he went and he spoke with God and he wrote it all down. And that's the book of Psalms in the Bible. But he wrote down laments, nice poetry. And we're going to do one at the very end of tonight. Once we've done our craft and before we do our song, we will cry out and do what David did. And we'll learn some words that we can use to speak with God because David wasn't sad all the time. He was happy in the story when he was sad. And you know how we know he was happy? We saw the pictures that Elizabeth showed us at the start of all the smiley faces. We saw Freya's smiley face when she was eating cake. The smiley faces are one way, but David went out dancing. Now that's pretty cool, I think, that if he was to go out dancing, we know he's a happy person then. But I think we're going to be happy just now because I'm going to hand over to Elizabeth, who is going to do for us our craft that involves a crafty lament. Well, one of the things in the, in the story about Lucy was that people round about her noticed that she was feeling sad. And I thought, I know we made cards not so long ago, but I thought sometimes it's nice to make a little card. And I thought inside the card, we'd put a lovely picture. So on the outside of my card, I've put the word, sorry, you're feeling sad. Or you could put, I'm sorry, you're feeling mad because sometimes that feeling mad can make us sad. But on the inside, in this card, I've drawn a rainbow with a nice sun and you can see raindrops. And of course, we know that a rainbow is God's promise that he loves us and he'll not let anything happen to us. So a nice sun, the rain and God's promise. And on the inside, I've written a picture to bring hope of better days, just like Lucy. She knew that her sadness would not last all the time. There's another little picture you could do. And it's one that I discovered not too long ago, um, a, a little symbol of hope. Now, we've heard a lot about one symbol of hope and I'll get you to guess what that is in a minute. But have you thought about a little robin, a little songbird that is also a symbol of hope? So nice pictures. So the craft this week are little cards with a nice, hopeful little message inside. And what's the big thing that we're using and we're growing some of them that also shows that we have hope for tomorrow. Anybody going to guess? Something that follows the sun. Sunflower. A sunflower. Well done. <laughs> so you can put lots of sunflowers on your cards, as well as robins and rainbows, because they're nice and bright and they show us that people care and they are, they don't like us to feel sad, but they are with us and love us. Right. So when I, I, I think we need some cards or photos of cards maybe sent in, Douglas. I think that would be great for the, the maze. I was there today. They have uh -huh. grown. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, be assured that the maze will happen sometime. We need rain. Now, that's not something you often hear us say in Scotland, but we do need rain. <laughs> Uh, they, need drink. they need a lot a big drink um yeah. very soon and the the cards would be great to have as part of this and to have yeah. the photos we will have we've got one it's just not public yet but we've got a new facebook page for 
the Field of Hope as well as our new website for booking the tickets and things like that. So it would be great to be able to have some craft work like this up there as well. And I know that Nancy's pal is like that because of another uh -huh. thing related to this. Uh -huh. Nancy, you want to tell us why you've got a pal on the seat that's not Alan? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Alan's gone out for a walk tonight, so I have to make do with this man. Can you all see him over here? This is for our Scarecrow Festival that's going to be happening in Ely in July, from the 9th of July for, is it the whole weekend, Elizabeth, or is it a week? Yeah, it's a week. A week. So what I need you to do is, I asked you a few weeks ago when we made some sunflowers, if you could draw me some sunflowers between... Well, Harris and Freya have got to do it tonight, I think, if they're going on holiday very shortly. But not if you could, for a while, but that's okay, we'll get you some sunflowers. If we could have some sunflower pictures, either painted or done with crayons or done with pasta, like we did anything, and let Elizabeth M know and myself, or possibly Helen, could maybe collect them and we'll come and get them and we will laminate them so that we can put them up beside our little man here who's going to be the seed sower. And we're going to get some a bale of hay and we're hoping to get uh, sunflowers from Elizabeth that's growing. And we're going to have the story of the seed sower up on the Ely Church gates. So it would be great if you could do some sunflower pictures for us. We're really looking forward to that. And the exciting thing is he'll then walk along the road to our dross and, <laughs> and be, be pinned up to a gate somewhere along there, hopefully. Oh, he's getting an outing. He'll be very excited. As long as he's getting a day pass out to go and do that. But I think it'd be great to have him along the road and be able to tell people about the parable of the sower along yes. that field. Oh, because, that would be great. Yeah, I think um, why ever not? He's been shut up. For I, hope, I hope he can travel well. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, we'll, we'll travel, we'll, we'll drive him carefully or we'll put he's, him in the back of my bike. He's going. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I need some photographs of, please. <laughs> now, it is really lovely to look around all these screens and see happy, smiley faces. Mm. And see people waving and being happy. Eating yeah. is that ice cream you're having? No, it's a yogurt. I'm looking. Yeah. I'm looking. It's it's a yogurt. Edward, is it nice? Mm. He looks happy. He looks happy because you're, you're having a healthy treat tonight, Free On the other hand, well, that's yeah, a treat. Um, <laughs> what we're going to do is, when we're feeling happy, we can say thanks to God as well, and when we're feeling sad, we can call out to Him as well. A lot of the things. So for some people going into the summer holidays is sad because they won't be able to be with their friends. For others, they'll be really happy because they don't need to go to school. And for others, they're really happy because they get to see people they've maybe not seen for a long time. And maybe we can thank God for all of the opportunities. And maybe we can say to God, can you be there whenever we're feeling sad? So here are some of the things. You don't need to use fancy words to speak to God. So what we can do is you can, here are some words that you might want to use. And it starts off, hey God, can I talk to you? I tell you, sometimes I'm upset and I'm sad. God, can I tell you that I'm feeling bad? You know, can I tell you that I'm raging mad? Hey God, can you wipe my tears away, please? Can you help me? Make my heart happy? Can you take away the pain that I'm in when I miss people? God, we know you helped David and you made him from a really sad person to a really happy person. So happy that he danced. I really hope that you can help me go from being sad to being happy. I'm so happy that maybe even I want to dance. You stayed with Jesus when he was sad and he was weeping. And then he began to rejoice too. So whatever I'm feeling, God, can I come to you and explain everything to you? Because I know you hear me. I know you hear my heart. And I know you hear my pain. Amen. And these are we prayers that you can do 
wherever you are and whoever you are and at whatever time, God's 24-7. He's there all the time. We're going to finish off uh, tonight with our trumpet song and I need to see everybody standing up. That means, Freya, you need to use the last bit of energy before bath and bed. To <laughs> and yeah, we go. Oh, I need to unlock this. Uh, yeah, I need to do that bit harder while I try and find it like that. Find love, may you find rest here in this place.